Hello everybody and welcome to probably my final video for 2016. Since a lot has happened during the past 12 months, I thought it would be best to reflect a bit on what has transpired on my channel. So here are my top 10 Kerbal Shadow Zone program moments from 2016 in chronological order. The Martian series. The book was awesome. The film was great and I took a lot of inspiration from both of them. This led to me doing an entire series where I kind of recreated the events from The Martian with a bit of a KSP twist. For instance, the Hermes was a completely unique design and I used a special utility vehicle for moving stuff around. Wacky Rover Delivery Systems with more than 95,000 views and counting, this is one of my most successful videos. I like rovers and complicated machinery, so I threw a few parts together and made some wacky contraptions that are able to get some movers moving. I liked the utterly pointless so much, I even made another video with a stock remake of it. Gargantua. How huge can you go? This monster weighs more than 2500 tons, is almost 100 meters long and can go forever with 11,000 meters per second of delta V. I used this beast to finally visit Drez, deliver a rover with integrated ion glider and mine some Drezdroids. I also took it to the binary system of Plock Karen, which reflected the new discoveries NASA got from the New Horizon probe that flew past Pluto. Comanche KSP is at its best when you can do stuff that at first seems unfeasible. There are no pistons or bearings in stock KSP, but you can still make things turn with a bit of physics trickery. The result? The Comanche, my little stock KSP helicopter. It isn't really that maneuverable, but it looks great. So there's that. 20,000 subscribers! Holy smokes, you guys are awesome! You managed to get this channel to more than 20,000 subscribers in June! Thank you so much! Even though YouTube literally took a thousand of them away again only hours after I published my yay 20k subs vid, the channel has now reached over 23,000 subscribers. Thanks again, hope you stick around. Stormtrooper Helmet Well, it's a Stormtrooper Helmet that can fly, what else is there to say? That's awesome in itself. This thing is also able to refuel itself thanks to its integrated drills and refinery. Apollo It may not have gotten a lot of views, but my short film slash music video miniseries about the Apollo 11 mission was a high point for me, as is anything that keeps that historic event and monumental achievement of humanity in living memory. NASA, I salute you. Please get to Mars soon. KSP 1.2 It has been long awaited, but this Autumn Squad finally released Kerbal Space Program version 1.2 that introduced remote control for probes and a lot of other things. You can watch my 10 best things about Kerbal Space Program 1.2 for a little roundup of my favorite things in the new update. SpaceX Interplanetary Transport System. Let's go to Mars! Well, if a self-made billionaire says so, why not? The plans for the interplanetary transport system Elon Musk proposed during a SpaceX press conference took the world by storm and as is custom with those things, a lot of KSP versions popped up shortly after. I recommend you watch the Marcus House Mark Thrym collaboration on the ITS in Realism Overhaul. Or you can go watch my 100 passenger KSP stock version. Either way, humanity wins. 100 meter space station. 
<laughs> you thought Gargantua was big, but this takes the cake, at least for 2016. The Giga Ring Max sports more than 1000 parts and weighs in at around 1000 tons dry with a diameter of almost exactly 100 meters. It broke the game since including the launcher it had more than 1900 parts, but it really looks nice when teleported to space, doesn't it? Okay, so that's my own personal favorite moments of my Kerbal hobby that happened during 2016. What were your favorite moments on this channel? Leave a comment to let me know. Also let me know how wrong I am, I always like feedback. So see you in 2017 and as always, thanks for watching, goodbye.